Angeles folks, welcome to our calibration of our FD4A multi-gas detector folks. What do we need to get started? You need your gas bottle, your regulator, in this case it's a C10, tubing all the way through up to the gas calibration cap which should have come with your detector. If you've lost it, let us know, we'll send you one in the mail. And the little screw that comes with it folks. Now, it's a two step process every time we calibrate folks. Check it out. First step is to ensure the baselines of our EXCO and H2S is zero and oxygen is 20.9%. Good news, they're all zero, over two is 20.9. Assuming, assuming the X was one or two percent and it's fluttering around, we want that to be zero. So this is the way we do it. Press menu, go to zero set, enter, enter again EX. And all you do is press save. If it's reading one or two, it would force it to zero and tell the algorithm, look, that's zero, I'm in fresh air, I know what I'm doing, it should be reading zero. And that's how you do the first step. That was your zero calibration. Likewise, you do that for the other gases as required. Next, folks, let's pop on the gas calibration cap. Next, we're doing what they typically call in the industry a span calibration. Well, we're calibrating to a value, a known concentration value. In this case, it's 50% LEL, 50% methane. So EX should be 50. Let's see what it comes to, folks. I'm gonna pop in about 0.3 liters per minute. That's what we recommend, 0.3, 0.4. And um, it's gonna be increasing. We should let it sit for about 60 seconds until the value starts stabilizing. It's about 60 seconds or so. And in this case, I know this detector is not calibrated. EX will not make it to 50, not at all. So we must calibrate it. As you could see, it's stabilized to about 16 or so. So what do we do? Press enter again. Go down to gas check, which means we're going to be calibrating it to a span gas. Press the passcode, it's 1111. Enter. Excuse me, let me do that again. One. I'm silly duffer sometimes. One. One, that's better. And then we press enter. The standard value is the value that we're popping in. I know it's 50, so let's make it with 50. And that tells the detector, instead of 17, it should be 50. And there is your millivolts. You want to make sure that's fairly stable, okay? It's not moving around too much. There may be a bit of fluttering noise here and there, but that should be fairly stable. Okay, let's assume I've waited the full 60 seconds. I know I haven't, but let's assume I'm making a video here. You press save, and that locks in that value at 50. And save success means that was good, successful, and we have it 50, 49, and they've just slightly gone down. And that's basically how we calibrate, folks. Press the right uh, button here if you want to silence the alarm so it doesn't drive you crazy. And again, likewise, typically you would have a gas mix here and you would do that continuously, next, next, next. But in this example, it was only a single gas mixture. And that's how you calibrate our multi-gas detector. In this case, it was the combustible. Have a great day and be well.